morning, Panthers, and welcome to our 2020 Honors Night program. My name is Joe Berkmeyer, and I am very proud to serve as principal of Bertrand High School. Joining me this evening is Mr. Nathan Malzoff. It is our honor to be able to celebrate this wonderful occasion with all of you. Seniors, tonight is a night that we set aside to honor all of your hard work and dedication. Collectively, you have put in countless hours working on projects, papers, and studying for tests so that you would excel academically. Oftentimes, many of you may have wondered if all of that hard work was really worth it. Well, the fact that you are being honored tonight is the answer to that question. Yes, it has been worth it. You have worked hard to get to this point. You have experienced academic success, and we want you to enjoy this night of recognition. It is our sincerest hope that you and your family enjoy tonight's award presentation. It is truly an honor to be able to help lead this presentation. At Birch Run, we know the importance of relationships. We know that for our students to reach their full potential, they need to know that we care for them. With that being said, we would like to take a moment to thank our dedicated team of educators, counselors, and coaches who have worked hard at building those relationships with these seniors from the very first day of kindergarten all the way to today. We hope that we make it very apparent that family is valued here. We believe it fitting to take a moment to thank the most important people in the lives of our seniors that have helped them to achieve success. Parents, only you know the amount of effort and love that it has taken to get to this point. We thank you for all of the love and support you have given to your children. We would also like to be sure to thank the grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, and friends of our seniors who are tuning in tonight. The support you show our seniors is greatly appreciated. A very sincere thank you to all of you who are joining us this evening. succeed because we look to the future. Well, we remember the past. We have dedication and drive. And remember what is truly important. We work hard. But remember to play. Tonight, we celebrate your hard work, dedication, scholarship, service, and the accomplishments of you and those who supported you along the way. We will now begin our program by recognizing our early college seniors. Next year, these Panthers will attend classes entirely at Mott Community College. And when these students finish their college classes at the end of next school year, they will have earned up to 62 college credits and their high school diploma. Many will also earn a tuition-free associate's degree. This year, we have 19 seniors participating in early college. They are Stephen Arnold. Ronnie Bach, Hannah DiBardino, Anton Dodak, Zachary Duffett, Haley Ecker, Hannah Flint, Jalen Johnston, Nathaniel Lacrosse, Amber Mitchell, Ben Mudge. Cassidy Natzel, Laney Poe, Brooke Rousseau, Bailey Schmidt, Madison Staley, Morgan Stevens, Ty Tanner, and Lauren Taylor. Service to the community is something that we strongly encourage our Panthers to pursue. These award winners were selected by a committee for their outstanding diverse service to our community. 
These individuals went well above the required 40 hours of community service for graduation. They have made service an integral part of their high school career. Please join us in recognizing the following students for their dedication to making this world a better place. McIntyre Breeze with 123 community service hours. Alexis Johnson, 148 community service hours. And Aaron Swanson, 189 and a half community service hours. We would also like to recognize the winner of two other awards this evening. The DAR Good Citizen Award was awarded to Ms. Casey Cutting. And Bertrand High School's turnaround student for this year is Ms. Paige Powell. Congratulations, Casey and Paige. At this time, we'll begin the scholarship awards portion of Honors Night. To help ensure the audience is more entertained, we have decided to ask members of our team and community to announce our scholarships. We are very grateful for all of the members who have taken the time to announce our winners. For our first scholarship of the night, we will join Heather East to present the scholarship from Grand Rapids Building Services. Hi everybody, my name is Heather with Grand Rapids Building Services. I'm here to present our Perseverance Scholarship. This scholarship is given out to students who have had to overcome hardships in their lives. We know this year there are many deserving students considering this pandemic that's going on, so congratulations to the entire graduating class of 2020. However, today we want to recognize specifically Zachary Duffett for winning our $1,000 Perseverance Scholarship. Congratulations! Thanks, Heather, and congratulations, Zach. Our next presenter this evening is Bertrand High School's art teacher, Mrs. Melissa Williams, who will be presenting our Bertrand Education Association Scholarship. Hello, my name is Melissa Williams, and I'm here to represent Bertrand Education Association and Anthony Deanna from our area McDonald's restaurant. Every year, Mr. Deanna hosts McTeacher's Night. It's a night where BREA members can come, put on a McDonald's employee hat, serve our students in our community, all the while raising money for our BREA scholarship fund. This year, with the help of this event, we are able to give out three scholarships to Bertrand students going into the education field. Our first recipient is Benjamin Mudge. Ben is currently an early college student at Mott with plans to continue his education at U of M Flint, majoring in elementary education. Our second is Caitlin Switalski. Caitlin plans on attending Saginaw Valley State University, majoring in secondary education. And our third is Elijah Wojtovich. Elijah plans on going to Central Michigan University, majoring in secondary education. The BREA, along with Mr. Deanna, would like to congratulate Ben, Caitlin, and Elijah. We know you're going to make wonderful teachers. Thank you, Mrs. Williams, and congratulations to Ben, Caitlin and Elijah. Our next scholarship is the Knights of Columbus Good Works Scholarship and joining us is Kurt Dupi. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Dupi and I am the Grand Knight of Father Norman Van Pipel and Council 7233 of Birch Run and Frankenmuth. I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe during these trying times. We are sorry that you seniors have missed out on your exciting senior year festivities such as prom and senior party amongst other events. However, we are able to work around the stay home, stay safe order by venturing out with new opportunities such as this virtual honors night. The Knights of Columbus Scholarship is a scholarship based on involvement with church and community service. The criteria is based off community service through volunteerism and service to others to help out those in need. Volunteering is the ultimate exercise in democracy. You as an adult will vote in elections once a year, but when you volunteer, you vote every day about the kind of community you want to live in. Cheryl Crow said, if compassion was a motivating factor behind all of our decisions, would our world not be a completely different place? The winner of the Knights of Columbus Scholarship has stepped up and given back to the community. 
is recognized for doing so as an inspiration to his fellow man and by his many volunteering activities. This year's winner is Ty Tanner. Thank you. Thanks, Kurt, and congratulations, Ty. Next, we will join Mr. Dave Bush, Superintendent of Bertrand Area Schools, as he announces the winner of the Bertrand Rotary Scholarships. Good evening. I'd like to start off by congratulating the class of 2020 on their many accomplishments. This is an extremely talented group of students who have had many great successes during their time of attending Bertrand Area Schools. We are very proud of you. On behalf of the Bertrand Rotary Club, we are very pleased to announce once again, we are providing five $1,000 scholarships. This year's recipients are Hannah Flint, Alexa Kenny, McKenna Oberski, Alan Polly, and Caitlin Switalski. Congratulations to each of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bush, and congratulations, Hannah, Alexa, McKenna, AJ, and Caitlin. Our next presenter will be Mrs. Cheryl Rogers, Bertrand High School teacher, who will be announcing the scholarships for the VFW Post 7542. VFW Post 7542 is pleased to award two scholarships this year to a couple of very deserving, hardworking young women. Please join me in congratulating Melinda Parker and Bryn Palmer. Thank you, Mrs. Rogers, and congratulations to Melinda and Bryn. Also, we'd like to give a congratulations to Mrs. Rogers, who has announced her retirement from Bertrand. Wonderful career. Thank you very much for your service, Cheryl. Our next presenter will be Mr. Cal Eustician, Bertrand High School science teacher, to announce the Masonic Lodge number 514 scholarship. The Bertrand Masonic Lodge 514 has been giving out scholarships to Bertrand High School seniors for the past 32 years. For the past several years, the Masonic Lodge has been able to give two scholarships in the amount of $1,000. This year's Masonic Lodge scholarship winners are Chase Gruno and Hannah Flint. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Eustician, and congratulations to Chase and Hannah. At this time, we will announce the winner of the Frankenmuth Credit Union Scholarship, and we'll be joined by Vicki Schmitzer. Hi, my name is Vicki Schmitzer, and I'm honored to be the CEO of Frankenmuth Credit Union. We were all hoping to be together in person to share these exciting accomplishments, but happy that we are still able to be together, only in a different way. The Frankenmuth Credit Union awards seven scholarships each year to seven area graduating seniors who are members of Frankenmuth Credit Union who have been chosen after submitting an essay on a chosen topic. The scholarship that I am presenting today is Frank Booth Credit Union's Birch Run High School Scholarship. The winner of this scholarship receives four annual payments for four years. I am proud to award this year's Frank Booth Credit Union Birch Run High School Scholarship to Aaron Swanson. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you, Vicki, and congratulations, Aaron. Next, we will welcome back Mr. Dave Bush, superintendent to present the Bertrand Tameth Educational Foundation Scholarship. The Bertrand Tameth Educational Foundation has regularly supported students and school staff by providing scholarships and education grants for many years. This year, the foundation will be awarding one $1,000 scholarship on behalf of the Bertrand Tameth Educational Foundation, I'm pleased to announce this year's recipient, McKenna Oberski. Congratulations, McKenna. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bush, and congratulations, McKenna. Our next presenter will be Bertrand High School teacher, Mrs. Amy urbanowski Noak, to present the Tameth Township Fire Association Award. The Tameth Township Fire Association was formed in 1991 in response to allow the fire department to raise funds to help offset the burden placed upon the tax-paying residents of Tameth Township. Over the years, the money generated from the annual pancake breakfast and the fireman's ball has been used toward the purchase of equipment. 
and to help members of the department perform their jobs to the highest level possible. In 2014, members decided that they wanted in some way to further give back to the community that they served. One night, after a fire call and all the equipment was put back in order, several of the members sat around the table in the fire station having coffee, and the idea of a scholarship was born. At the month's fire association meeting, the idea was approved and our first scholarship was awarded in May of 2014. Seven years later, we are again able to present to one of Bertrand High School seniors our 2020 scholarship. It is our privilege to award this year's Tamath Township Fire Association $250 scholarship to Reagan Mayo. Thank you, Mrs. Urbanowski, and congratulations, Reagan. Our next scholarship is the Sylvia Beach Memorial Scholarship presented by Bertrand High School teacher, Mrs. Chelsea Hilly. Sylvia Beach was a teacher who began her career before World War II. She taught in a one-room school, grades one through eight, but was required to quit when she married. Then, during World War II, there was a shortage of teachers, and Sylvia was asked to come back to teaching, which she did while bringing her two youngest children to school with her each day. Sylvia never liked grading. She wanted to award each child on their own abilities and often took into consideration individual life challenges. The scholarship that is being given tonight goes to a person who has worked hard through numerous challenges and truly seeks to further his education in spite of obstacles. This year, the scholarship goes to Elijah Wojtovich. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Hillert. Congratulations to you, Elijah. Our next scholarship will be the Tamath Township Historical Association and will be presented by social studies teacher, Mr. Greg Martis. The Tamath Township Historical Association was founded in 1991. They are a very active group in promoting and preserving the history of Tamath. Their motto is preserving Tamath's history for the future. The group is funded basically by event fundraisers and generous donations by residents. This is the fourth year the group has provided an honors night scholarship to a Bertrand senior that lives in Tamath. This year was a difficult task in selecting a recipient as seven students applied. All the applicants were excellent and worthy. The Tamath Township Historical Association wishes nothing but the best to all applicants in their future endeavors. The 2020 selection for the Tamath Township Historical Association is Stephen R. Arnold. Congratulations, Stephen. Thank you, Mr. Martis, and congratulations, Stephen. Our next presenter will be Mr. Philip Bossenberger, band director here at Bertrand High School. Mr. Bossenberger will present the Bertrand Band Boosters Scholarship. Hi, this is Mr. Bossenberger, the band director at Bertrand High School. On behalf of the Band Booster Parent Organization, we would like to award the Band Booster Scholarship to... Alexa Kenny. Alexa Kenny is a seven-year member of the band. She's a multi-instrumentalist as well as a singer. She was lead in the musical. She played in the jazz band. She was drum major for the marching band for two years. And uh, all around, she has been an awesome student to have in band. And we are so, so proud of her and we're gonna miss her when she's gone. Congratulations, Alexa. Thank you, Mr. Bossenberger, and congratulations to Alexa. Our next presenter will be Becky Hawley, who will present the PFY Deb Parker Memorial Scholarship. Hello everyone. My name is Becky Hawley. I'm the treasurer for Bertrand Youth Sports and today I have the honor of presenting two individuals with $1,000 Deb Parker Memorial Scholarships. Deb Parker was one of the founding members of PFY who dedicated countless hours to ensure the youth in our community had the opportunity to learn and play sports. I'm sure many of you have participated in one of our sports, such as baseball, softball, football, cheerleading, volleyball, or wrestling. The scholarship recipients of this year's participated in PFY wrestling and volleyball and have also excelled in the classroom. The young 
PFY wrestler now has academic goals of becoming a dermatologist and the once young volleyball player now aspires to enter the field of physical therapy. So please join me in congratulating the 2020 Deb Parker Memorial Scholarship recipients, Reagan Mayo and Ty Tanner. Congratulations, seniors. Thank you, Becky, and congratulations, Reagan and Ty. Our next award will be the State Bank Scholarship presented by Mrs. Jen Hemker, a county teacher here at Bertrand High School. As a community bank, the State Bank is proud to support our graduating seniors and offer a scholarship to a student who's pursuing further education in accounting and or finance. This year, we are pleased to announce that Aaron Swanson is the recipient of the State Bank's $500 scholarship. Best of luck to Aaron and to the entire class of 2020 as they embark on their next steps. Thank you, Mrs. Hemker, and congratulations to Aaron. Our next presentation comes from the Class of 1964 Scholarship Committee, who put together a video montage of their winners. Congratulations, oh. Hannah. You won the Class of 64 scholarship. Thank you, Class of 64, and congratulations to Hannah, Anton, Alexa, Sierra, and McKenna. Our next scholarship is the AYSO Scholarship, which is new to Bertram this year. The AYSO Scholarship will be presented by Mrs. Amy Boyteen, Bertram High School Counselor. Hello, I'm Amy Boyteen, and I have the privilege of announcing the 2020 Bertram AYSO Scholarships. 
The Bertrand AYSO Soccer Organization is proud to be participating in Honors Night for the very first time. Our local AYSO organization wouldn't be possible without the help of volunteers, which include many high school students. In order to be eligible for the scholarship, students had to demonstrate that they participated in Bertrand AYSO soccer or volunteering in a capacity for at least two years. Students also provided a statement explaining what volunteering for the Bertrand AYSO has meant to them. The first recipient participated in AYSO soccer for nine years. He is hardworking and self-disciplined both on and off the field. We have no doubt that these traits will push him toward success as he travels to college and beyond. The winner of our first $250 scholarship is Seth the Care. Our second scholarship recipient began playing soccer with AYSO when she was just seven years old. She recalls being a team captain during her younger soccer years and attributes this early opportunity and leadership to helping her grow her skills now. She is currently a National Honor Society officer and treasurer for the class of 2020. The winner of the second $250 scholarship is Hannah Flint. On behalf of the entire AYSO board, congratulations, Seth and Hannah. Thank you, Mrs. Boyteen, and congratulations, Seth and Hannah. For our next award, we'll be joining Ms. Katie Rosencrantz, one of our math teachers here at Bertrand High School, for the CMS Memorial Scholarship. The CMS Memorial Scholarship Fund was established in 1985 to honor the memory of three Bertrand community leaders who all passed away within nine months of each other in 1984 and 1985. The three were Lawrence Courtney, Edward McNamara, and Oswald Schmitzer. Lawrence Courtney was a Bertrand Township official for 28 years. Under his leadership, many buildings were built and many traditions were developed. Edward McNamara devoted his entire life to public service. He was the Bertrand Township Supervisor for 22 years. He also held a variety of leadership positions on the Saginaw County Board of Supervisors, Saginaw County Democratic Party, Saginaw County Road Commission, Bertrand Area Schools Board of Education, and the Bertrand Village Council. Oswald Smitzer was a charter member of the Bertrand Fire Department serving 42 years with 29 of those as chief. Through his leadership, the fire department developed into a modern professional organization. This scholarship is being used as a vehicle to honor these three men so that those students who exhibit some of the same qualities of devotion to the community that these men did might be honored and encouraged to further their post-secondary education. This year's CMS Memorial Scholarship is awarded to two students, Caitlin Swatalski and Sierra Cleland. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Rosencrantz, and congratulations, Caitlin and Sierra. Our next scholarship is the John Vincent Morrow Scholarship, presented by Mrs. Gail Warden. I am pleased to be able to award today the John Vincent Moreau Memorial Scholarship. In April 2010, John Vincent Moreau, a senior at Bertrand High School, was out walking with his friend T.J. Larkin. They were struck by a careless driver and both were taken too soon. Anyone that knew John could tell you he loved life and enjoyed helping others, whether it was helping a fellow student, friend, family, or coworker, he never gave a second thought to offer a helping hand. John continues to touch lives through his memorial scholarships. While John's journey was stopped short as a result of this great tragedy, we hope recipients will use this scholarship to follow their own dreams and aspirations and make a difference in the world. It is with great pride the John Vincent Moreau Memorial Scholarships be awarded to Alexa Kenny and Alexis Ostrander. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Warden. Congratulations, Alexa and Alexis. Our next scholarship is the Jeff Snow Memorial Scholarship and it will be presented by Mr. Wes Webster, Athletic Director and Middle School Assistant Principal. The Jeff Snow Memorial Scholarship. Jeff Snow was diagnosed with stage three cancer at the age of 16 while as a student at Montrose High School, where he played baseball, basketball, and football. In addition to athletics, he served as the student council president, class president, and after missing most of his senior year due to an illness, 
He did graduate with his classmates in 1964. Jeff came to Birch Run in 1970 and served as a student teacher. Upon graduation, he was immediately hired by the Birch Run Area School District. He was a sixth grade teacher where he married one of his colleagues, as you may know, Miss Schluckbeer. Unfortunately, in 1974, his cancer returned and he passed away in November of 1975. The Jeff Snow Memorial Scholarship was established in his memory by Miss Schluckbeer with her hopes that the recipient will face life challenges and the same courage that Jeff displayed during his battle of cancer. This year's Jeff Snow Memorial Scholarship is presented to Zach Duff. Thank you, Mr. Webster. We appreciate you presenting tonight. And congratulations to Zach. Our next scholarship is the Brian Carey Memorial Scholarship, presented by Ms. Jenny Stevens. The Brian Carey Memorial Scholarship is a new scholarship this year and is presented to a Birch Run senior who's worked exceptionally hard throughout their high school career. Brian was a 2008 graduate of Birch Run who took his academics seriously and worked very hard for everything he earned, both in cla the classroom and in life. Brian had the ability to make people around him smile. He was quick with a joke and always brought an upbeat attitude to his work and to school. We're very grateful to have a scholarship with his name. I'm very honored to be able to award the Brian Carey Scholarship to this year's winner, Miss Lainey Poe. Congratulations, Lainey. It's well earned and we're very proud of you. Thanks, Mrs. Stevens, and congratulations to you, Lainey. Our next scholarship is the Red Cross Scholarship. And it will be presented by Birch Run High School English teacher and NHS advisor, Mrs. Kelly Stawas. Hi everyone, Mrs. Stawas here. On behalf of the National Honor Society, I get to award the American Red Cross Scholarship. This year's recipient is Caitlin Swatalski. Congratulations, Caitlin, and best of luck to all of the 2020 graduates. Thank you, Ms. Stawas, and congratulations to Caitlin. Our next scholarship will be presented by Mr. Tyler Periard. It is the Ed Periard Memorial Scholarship. As a nephew of Ed Periard, I'm honored to present the Ed Periard Memorial Scholarship. Ed Periard graduated from Bertrand High School in 1967. He earned all conference and all state recognition as a three sport athlete, and in college, he was an All American and a national champion. He earned a reputation that lived on year after year athlete, coach, professional educator. This scholarship allows his memory to live on for many more years. Nominations are submitted by and voted on by all of the head coaches at Bertrand High School. This year, Sarah Miller has been selected to receive the Ed Period Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Sarah. Thanks, Mr. Periard. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next scholarships are the Birch Run Athletic Association Scholarships, and they will be presented by Mr. Jeff Flint. Today, I am given the distinct honor of representing all the hardworking Birch Run Area Athletic Association members in presenting our annual scholarship awards. We miss dearly the opportunity to share these moments with everyone in person while we see your smiling faces, the handshakes, the hugs, and all of the things we would do under different circumstances. Please know that in all of our hearts and our minds, we are still shaking those hands and dishing out high fives and hugs to each and every one of you who represent the very special class of 2020. The Bertrand Area Athletic Association scholarships are given in memory of John Morgan and Richard Compton. Both Mr. Morgan and Mr. Compton are remembered for their love of athletics at all levels and for their support of the athletic programs within our community. Two scholarships have been established in their honor by the Bertrand Area Athletic Association. The scholarships are to be awarded to the senior male and female scholar athletes who have over their high school careers exhibited athletic prowess and perseverance. The recipients must also be an accepted member of an institution of higher learning and in the judgment of the athletic board are most deserving. The nominations are submitted by and then voted on by all of our head varsity coaches. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to announce this year's winners of the Richard 
Compton Scholarship and John Morgan Memorial Scholarships to Chase Gruno and Sarah Miller. Additionally, the Bertrand Area Athletic Association has for the second year in a row added two more scholarships. This year we are honored to present these scholarships in memory of two longtime Bertrand Area families who represent commitment to self, community, and overall athletic excellence. The first is the Cook Family Memorial Scholarship in memory of Vivian Cook. The Cook Family Memorial Scholarship is presented to the athlete who shows true hometown grit, determination, resilience, and persistence. And it is with great pleasure that we award this scholarship to Emily Miller. The second is the Morris Family Memorial Scholarship in memory of those amongst the Morris family who have for so many decades dedicated their time, commitment, and passionate pursuit of excellence in our community. It is with great pleasure and honor that we present this scholarship to A.J. Polly. Congratulations to all four of you, and thank you for the gift of the memories you have given us on all of the competitive platforms you have competed on. Thank you, Mr. Flint, and congratulations to A.J., Chase, Emily, and Sarah. Our next award will be the Jack Rotiers Award, presented by Mr. Brad Knoll. Thank you, Mr. Berkmeyer and Mr. Mausoff. First, I'd like to congratulate all of our seniors this year's class of 2020. I know it's been a challenging year. Uh, honors night, graduation, everything since March 13th looks a little bit different than any of us ever imagined that it would. But you've made it, so congratulations. As a memorial to Jack Rotiers, one of Bertrand High School's finest athletes who in the year 1952 met an accidental death, the Jack Rotiers Memorial Award has been established to honor the most deserving senior athlete who exemplifies high levels of athletic ability, citizenship, ability to adapt to adversity, and academic scholar. The nominations for this award are submitted by and voted on by all head varsity coaches. This year's award goes to A.J. Powell. Congratulations, A.J. On a personal note, I take great joy in presenting this award to you as I not only had you as a student, both at the middle school and at the high school, I was also able to have you as a cadet teacher this year at the middle school. I never shared this with you, or probably anyone else for that matter, but I was the recipient of this award as well, 37 years ago. So I couldn't be more happy and more proud to pass this on to you, AJ. I know that you're very deserving, I'm very proud of you, and again, congratulations. At this point, we will recognize our senior honor students. As the students are announced, you will see a slide listing their accomplishments. In an effort to create a personal touch, we ask the students to create their own personal slide. We will begin with our cum laude student honors. The following cum laude honor students will be recognized for achieving a GPA of 3.0 to 3.49. Brandy Lepak, Samantha Colhane, Taylor Brodigam, Gage Libby, Kevin Jared, Austin Tackaberry, Terrence Watson, Jake Ursi. Madeline Crow, Bailey Schmidt, McIntyre Brees, Caitlin Brown, Jennifer Novak, Kaylee Mader, Cody Clemens, Jalen Johnston. Zachary Blue Anna Taylor Sarah Miller 
Morgan Stevens. Dylan Gage. Alexis Johnson. Lauren Taylor. Jordan Had. Marissa Gillett. Hannah Rukert. Haley Eckert. Julia Felton. And Brady Tolls. The following magna cum laude honor students will be recognized for achieving a GPA of 3.5 to 3.74. Chase Bruno. Skylar Wolverton. Cadence Johnston. Caitlin Benker. Zoe Mahar. Melinda Parker. Ben Mudge. Andy Stewart. Madison Brodigam. Lauren Tornberg. Jeremy Licht. John Jenkins. Caitlin Switalski. KJ Hutchinson. Aubriana Schmidt. And Anton Dodak. At this time, we will recognize our summa cum laude honor students, who will be recognized tonight for achieving a GPA of 3.75 or above. Dayton Johnson. Elijah Wojtovich. Madison Staley. Brooke Rousseau. AJ Polly. Anthony Savage. Nathaniel Lacrosse. Bryn Palmer. Caleb Hedden. Mackenzie Hutchinson. Reagan Mayo. Emily Miller. Ronnie Bach. Madison Stafford. Cassidy Natzel. Blake Semitis. Seth DeCare. Shayla Pikey. Casey Cutting. Ty Tanner. And McKenna Oberski. The following students are being honored as summa cum laude and also as senior scholars. We use a formula for selecting students for the top academic awards. The formula was developed by the Michigan Association of Secondary School Principals. The formula ranks our students based on a combination of their GPA as well as SAT or ACT score. This year, we are very proud to have 10 students earn our most prestigious academic award. Aaron Swanson. Alexis Ostrander. Hannah DiBerdino. Steven Arnold. Jordan Moore. Zachary Duffett. And Christian Miller. And lastly, we'd like to honor our top three senior scholars, who are not only summa cum laude and senior scholars, but are also our top three TBC students. Hannah Flint. Sierra Cleland and Alexa Kenny. These 10 students have earned the most prestigious award of Senior Scholar. We are very proud of all of your hard work and efforts. 
congratulations once again. We stress to our students that we want to make this district feel like family. Many of these scholarships tonight were created out of the love for a family member. The power of family has been shown to you tonight through the kindness, love, and courage of many of our presenters. We thank our presenters for modeling these qualities for our students and we ask for their continued support. We think it is very important to appreciate all the special moments that life presents us. For those of you who received a scholarship today, we ask that you take the time to write a thank you note to the organization and families that have provided you this scholarship. They are a very important part of the support network that helps make us who we are and who we strive to be. We would like to end by again sincerely thanking you for tuning in and for the support you have shown these Panthers throughout their entire careers. On behalf of our district, we would also like to thank our presenters and ask for their continued support as we work to make Bertrand Area Schools a family. One school, one family.